Hey everybody and welcome back to another book review. So um, I don't think that uh, I did a book review on this one um, or mentioned this particular book previously, but um, we were supposed to read it for book club a very long time ago and I just couldn't get past page 20. It just was not happening. Um, and so I decided I was going to just like never read it. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I went back and I finished it. And that book is Jane Eyre by um, Charlotte Bronte, which very big classic book. But geez Louise, it is dry. Um, like, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. Um, so if you've never read Jane Eyre, it's um, got some really great uh tv series or mini series and movie adaptions that are out there so i would highly suggest watching one of those uh and not reading the book if you've never read it <laughs> um but it's basically about this uh little girl who is mistreated by her aunt um and cousins uh who were supposed to be the ones to take care of her after her parents died and then her uncle died um and they don't so she winds up going to boarding school and then she becomes a governess as one does in these lovely 19th century novels. And uh, in the end, she winds up falling in love and marrying the person that um, she was originally hired to, to be the governess for. Um, it's... I like the concept of the story, especially um, the way that it's told more from Jane's perspective than the other perspectives. I don't really just like how we got to the end it was all just so long it is a very long book like low-key it's a long book um and it just doesn't to me it doesn't flow in some areas um and so i think in a lot of the adaptions that we've seen in film i think they fix some of that so that flows a little better um but overall like it just I, I think, I, I feel like they wanted it to be a thriller and a horror, but like not because it's a romance novel. I don't know. Like there's, there's just this kind of weird jumbleness to me when I read it. Um, I do like the characters. I also like the, um, discussion of, um, particularly race relations, um, in relation to the plantations and areas of like Madeira and Jamaica because we don't hear a lot about that in a lot of the other books they're very out of sight out of mind and this one still kind of is but just the fact that um, the main male character Mr. Rochester uh, mentions that he actually married somebody who would have been um, biracial or Creole somewhere in there um, which means that they would have had color um, and so that is just very, it's not unheard of, historically speaking, because we know that it happens, but it's not common in a lot of literature at this time. So I was really, um, quite pleased because the, one of the, uh, film adaptions that I watched, the actress was very clearly, um, Creole Hispanic. Um, and so it was just like, huh, that's interesting. That's a, uh, you know, good that they were, you know, being diverse. And then now that I've read the book, I'm like, oh, this actually was in the book, which I really, really appreciate. Um, I love when you find those historic elements in um, novels. And not that, you know, it was written as, you know, like a big deal or anything, because um, they do kind of make it seem like because she is biracial, because she's Creole, that is why she's in sh insane, um, which I don't agree with. But uh, but I liked that it, that element was still in the story. So I was very excited about that. Um, outside of that, mm. <laughs> on, on the actual reading of the book, still like the, um, the adapts, uh, adaptations, um, that are out there though, in terms of film and TV. So I'd probably give this one, um, maybe a two and a half, maybe a one and a half. <laughs> um, I just... It, it was, it was all right. It was a very basic 19th century novel. 
<laughs> I mean, that's, that's where we're at with it. Um, wouldn't read it again. Don't recommend it. <laughs> um, but I did finish it, which is great. <laughs> um, so that's, that's all we care about is that I finished it. Um, so there you have it. Jane Eyre. Um, if anybody else has read it and you have other opinions on it, knock yourself out. Like, happy to discuss. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. So thank you, uh, as always, for watching, loving the comments from varying people. Um, I think I've got like four people that like constantly are commenting um, now or at least messaging me. And um, so that's really nice to have these lovely book discussions with you all. And I hope to... Uh, continue having more discussions with you. So thanks for watching.